Hey y'all and welcome to Peyton's Place. Here on Peyton's Place, I'm going to tell you about things involving college life, life as a young adult, how to be an activist, and also talk about current social movements going on. I want to remind everyone to please subscribe and make sure when you subscribe you also hit that um, bell, turn on your post notifications so you never miss an episode. Y'all know we here with it every Wednesday at 11 a.m. On this episode, I'm going to be giving you tips from a residential assistant as a student going into college. Let's get started. All right, so I know it's been a long time since y'all have seen me here in my home. I've been traveling, as y'all can see, if y'all missed it, check out my um, vlog from AGP and also check out my vlog from the DMV um, if you missed those two. But here we're back with it. Um, y'all probably are wondering why I'm a little dressed up. I went to church this morning. So that's why I got the blazer on. Usually I'm real chill. But let's get right into it. First, I kind of just want to explain um, the situation I was in as an RA. So I was an RA for two years, a residential assistant. Um, we called them house fellows at my university. So I was doing that job for two years or four semesters. So I had um, like two sets of incoming freshmen or honestly, my dorm was open to all students. So I had freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. It was like anyone who wanted to live there could live there. So my university that I went to, um, you don't have to live on campus your first year, but like, I don't think a lot of people know that. I personally didn't know that at first, um, but like most people do stay on campus. And I stayed in one of the really nice dorms, can't complain. It was super nice. Same dorm I stayed in my freshman year was the dorm I was the RA in. Um, and I had about, 60 students I would say who lived um on my floor so that's both genders it was um both women and men who stayed in the dorm that I was in and there were two sides of the dorm so I had a a co-RA that I worked with and they had about 60 students as well so all together we had about like I would say like 120 to 130 um give or take students and there were five floors um five floors in the dorm that I stayed in so I ain't gonna do that math I yeah whatever um but <laughs> so it was a decent amount of students but I personally was responsible for about 60 um students mostly like 18 year olds so as someone who lived in a dorm for a year as a first year student but also was an RA for two years I want to give you all the tips so not just like this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do but we all know how you want to enjoy yourself as a freshman and have fun so I'm not gonna sit here and be like you know y'all shouldn't follow the rules because that's definitely my number one thing is to respect your space and follow those rules but I'm gonna be real I know what happens you know how freshmen are how you are at dorms and stuff so I'm also just gonna tell you um how to like do what you want to do but still respect the space that you're in so I wrote down some tips because I want to make sure that I didn't forget anything when I was talking to y'all um the first one first tip that I'm gonna give y'all is what I said before is follow the rules like the rules are here to help you. They're in place to make sure you're safe and things are good for you because your parents are entrusting your lives with us. Like, I'm not saying that I'm here as a babysitter when I was an RA. Like, that's not the case at all. I'm also your peer because I'm a, a college student as well when I was in that position. But um, follow the rules. Like, they're there for a reason. We're not here to try to, like, scold you or like make sure you can't do nothing or have fun because it's college like everybody wants to have fun your first year of college trust me i know but follow the rules they're here for your safety so that's the first thing i'm going to say um the second thing is respect the space that you're in because this dorm or whatever it is that you're staying in is your home now and you know everybody raised different but like my parents don't play about how they home look and being clean and respectful of them, of people like our space and all of that. So it's very important to be respectful of the space that you're living in. Also, because you're living in it with like 
I mean, it could be, dorms are all kind of different sizes. You could have like hundreds of people in your like on your floor or however it's set up. So you want to be respectful of that space, not just because you're living in it, but because there are multiple people living in it as well. And you would want them to respect your space. Like you don't, if y'all are sharing communal bathrooms, um, you don't want to walk in the bathroom and it's like stuff everywhere, toilet paper all on the floor and like respect the space. So that's my second thing. Um, the next thing I would say is I'm just like keep it real with y'all. So I do not condone or promote underage drinking. The legal age of drinking in um, the United States and the state I was in, Wisconsin, is 21. You should not be drinking if you are under the age of 21. But as a RA, someone who worked in this role for two years, I know that people do underage drink. So. I'm going to tell you how, what I told my residents. I do not care what you do outside of the space, outside of the dorm, our, our home. Like I don't, I don't care what you do outside of that area. But I do care about your well-being and you being safe and making it home safely. So I told my residents that you know what you do is that's on you. I'm not your parent, I'm not your babysitter, I'm not here to like scold you for making the decisions that you make. Um, but I will say, if you choose to, to drink in college and have fun, make sure that you get home back to your dorm safely so when i say that don't be in the hallway stumbling and fumbling and making loud noises and locking yourself in the bathrooms and disturbing so people can't um do what they need to do like don't don't do that be respectful it goes back to that but i just wanted to make sure that like my residents made it back to their room safely so if that means you know your roommate needs to come get you to help you get up the elevator or up the stairs okay you know that's fine like making sure that you get to your destination safely if that's what you choose to do but once you're causing a scene and you're disrupting others and it's becoming an issue for the other residents and the other people who live in this communal space that's when it becomes a problem so as long as you're in your room and you're quiet and you're respectful and you're not disturbing the peace if you come back and you you know you making it to your room i personally am like okay cool now i'm not gonna say everybody is this this nice or this cool like you know because for me personally i don't want to have no extra work and me having to write you up is extra work and i know you don't want to get written up like i don't want to be that person who's there like uh like Peyton is this like she always writing us up she not cool and like i'm here to be y'all peer but i'm also here to make sure y'all are good and y'all are safe so you have to find that balance and not every ra is gonna be as cool as me some of them might be like, mm, you look drunk, I'm calling the police. So you have to play it by how your RA um, is. But regardless, if you get back to your room safely and you drunk in your room, like whatever, that's, I mean, they can't write you up if they don't see you. So that's mostly the thing. Like just be smart and conscious with your decisions, but also um, be respectful of the space as well. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about like, what to do if you do get in trouble like if you are caught underage drinking or you get like a noise complaint um an ra comes to your your room or whatever i kind of just want to break down how you should handle that situation so what i'm going to say from my experience is you should listen to your ra and be respectful also we know all the tricks in the book like if i'm knocking on your door and you're taking 10 minutes to come to the door i know you're hiding your alcohol or you're you know you have drugs whatever like i know what you're doing or you're trying to think i'm gonna walk away because y'all are quiet now like no i'm not walking away i'm still here at your door um so just like be responsive and be respectful if if i'm knocking it's for a reason probably y'all are too loud and y'all are probably drinking that's why y'all are loud um so just like cooperate also if i ask you to pour out your your alcohol or throw it away just follow the rules and cooperate because i know not all universities have police um like you know districts or whatever within their campus but the campus i went to we did and um i'm like 
I don't really like getting the police involved because like I know me personally I'm not always comfortable with police officers so I don't ever want to put someone else in a position where I would be uncomfortable myself so I really like to just you know take control of the situation personally myself and I can do that if you listen to me if you're cooperating and you're being respectful but as soon as you reach that level of disrespect and you're not listening and I'm just sitting here knocking on your door now I gotta call the police on you and you know you're just making a scene that's unnecessary he asking you why you being weird why you being weird to me so cooperate with your RAs um we were you all a few years ago like not even that long ago so we know all the tricks like we know what y'all are doing like it's y'all not smooth so just cooperate so then it'll be better for you in the long run and it also be less of like a hassle or a problem and you just don't want to get more people involved so that's the last thing i really had um but i do want to wish everyone who's going into their uh first year of school and college a good first year also if you're you know already in college and you're tuning into this i hope you're doing great as well if you all have like topics or things that you're interested in and you want me to talk about let me know leave a comment um, I want to remind everyone to also subscribe and like and share this video. And I want to thank everyone who's been doing that. And I will catch you here next Wednesday at 11 a.m. on Peyton's Place.